don't buy another designer bag until you have seen this video because I'm going to be sharing 11 of the latest bag releases for summer 2023. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to be revealing out of these 11 new releases which one I cannot get out of my mind and there might be a bonus release at the end of the video as well one that you guys have sent me so many messages about over on Instagram saying you've already placed your pre-orders for. Hey everyone, Steph here. So that you can shop this video super easily, I will pop links to anything that is available in the description box down below for you. The first bag that has recently been released from Dior is the new Seth Dior bag. So Seth is a French word. It translates into English as it is. So it is Dior bag. This is a bucket style bag and I think it's going to be very popular. Currently you can get this bag in two sizes, the small and the medium size. Now this small, in the raffia fabric with the leather detail and the gold hardware I think is beautiful and going to be popular I think for this spring summer. It retails for $3,200 in the US and £2,500 in the UK. If you are looking for something bigger though they also have medium sizes. You can get this in the Dior oblique print or you can get these full leather options which have the CD embossed into the leather so it's quite subtle but you can still tell it's a Dior bag. The leather medium size bags retail at $3,800 in the US and £2,950 in the UK. I love that this bag comes with kind of two straps as well so you've got your shorter strap which you could wear on the crook of your arm or maybe as a little shoulder bag I need to try this one on but it also comes with a longer strap which features a chain and then leather detail where it would actually sit on your shoulder so Dior have thought about everything with this one and the detail on the front where it kind of pulls together with the hardware just to help keep the bag closed I love this one. Let me know which is your favorite size in the comments because mine might have to be the small. If this can fit my phone inside, and I'm sure that it will be able to, I could be really tempted because I love a good bucket bag. I think they're super chic. I think they're super cool. But the fact this is in raffia as well, imagine this with like a flowing white beach dress. I think it would just be perfection. Before we dive into bag number two, just want to say hey to everyone. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Steph, and if you are already a subscriber, I love you guys. Bag number two is the Dior Oval Camera Bag. So this is a new release, and if you are looking for something with a bit of a different shape to it, this is quite a cool bag, and it is reversible. For the oblique print and reversible leather option, this one currently retails at $3,200 in the US, £1,850 in the UK. Okay, so an oval shape, it's called the oval bag, that makes sense. It's kind of a camera style bag. And on one side, we have the oblique print overlaid with leather to create the CD, the Christian Dior kind of logo, but it's not too in your face. Or you could turn this round and on the other side, it is full leather. And the leather is raised though, so you can still see the CD here. It has like a little top handle. I'm not sure how useful that would actually be. I don't think you'll be able to get your hand through it, but as they kind of grab and go handle, I think that would work great. And you also get a longer chain strap with leather on it. I think this is a really fun, different shaped kind of bag. My only concern with this one is, it's kind of, it reminds me a little bit, even though it looks completely different to the Louis Vuitton Alma bag, when you have a strange shape, you kind of have to put the bag down to be able to get into the bag. The zipper goes round the sides, so I think if you want a bag where you can literally quickly grab your purse out of it or your phone, I don't think this one is going to be the one, but if that isn't an issue for you, you want something that's maybe more secure, you're not too bothered about going in and out of it too much, then this could be a really fun piece. Bag number three is another one from Dior. Now this is not a new style of bag, but it is a new colorway and it's causing quite a stir on Instagram. I've seen it quite a lot already and I feel like it's probably the best colorway that I have seen of this bag so far. It is the Lady Dior bag in Wicker and they have brought it out in this gorgeous gray dusty pink colorway. Currently you can get this in two sizes, the medium Lady Dior which retails at £4,500 in the UK or the mini version which retails at £3,900. What do we think? I think the mini one is super cute. I think like the pink and gray colors work really nicely together. Now I have tried a Wicker Lady Dior one before and it was the medium size. I think it was in the bright fuchsia pink. Like it was absolutely stunning. I will say it was incredibly heavy. 
like just because of all the wicker, it really was a heavy bag. So for me personally, I would definitely gravitate towards the mini size, but obviously you can fit a lot less in. With it being wicker as well, bear in mind that these bags, if you are planning to travel with them, won't squash down, they are very rigid, solid pieces. And there's definitely no flexibility to kind of add extra bits in, like a leather would expand a little bit. So worth bearing in mind, uh, I don't think wicker bags are the most practical bags, but I do think for that kind of summer vibe, nothing beats it. And for our final bag from Dior on today's list, it is another wicker bag. So this is the new Dior East West wicker. This comes in two sizes. You can get it in the medium size and also a mini size, which is adorable. Now you can get the East West Lady Dior in quite a few different leathers and options. It has been around for a little while now, but this is the first time we have seen a wicker option. One of the main differences that I see with this one is we don't have the kind of Christian Dior band across the front of it, which actually I quite like. It feels a little bit more understated than the classic Lady Dior version. The medium size retails at £3,800 in the UK and the mini size £2,450. I think they've done a great job here as well with the colour combinations. So you've got the lightness of the wicker teamed with the classic navy Dior blue. We have the oblique print and I believe the hardware is in rose gold. So rather than just going gold, like maybe someone would think straight away, they've gone with the rose gold. And I think that adds a little bit more warmth to the look of this bag. Newly released bag number five carries on nicely the wicker theme. This is the Capucine bag from Louis Vuitton in this wicker option. So the Capucine bag has been around for a while now. I have a few in my collection and honestly, it is my favorite bag from Louis Vuitton. Not the most practical, but I think in terms of like the way that it looks, they are just absolutely stunning. Now Louis Vuitton have released the Capucine in a wicker option before. This is the BB size that you can currently get. This one differs in the sense that it has like a braided handle and they put an extra bit of metal on the hoops on the side. So rather than the handle kind of falling flat, which is one of the pet, my pet hates about the Capucine bag, it actually stands much more rigid and I think it just makes the bag look so much better. BB Wicker Capucine retails at £5,650 in the UK, $7,000 in the US. We have just seen quite a big price increase on the Capucine bag here in the UK and this one is no different. For this BB size it retails at £5,650 in the UK, $7,000 in the US. Now it's been likened a little bit to the vibes of the Picnic Kelly bag, the Picnic Birkin bag from Hermes, which if you wanted to get your hands on one of these would cost you a lot more. And in my personal opinion, let me know if you agree, I actually think I prefer the Capucine. Bag number six on our list, which is arguably slightly controversial, this is the new Louis Vuitton mini bum bag. It is now available to purchase. We have seen images being seeded and shared on Instagram for the last few months now because the old bum bag, which I have one here, was discontinued and everyone was shocked because this is such a popular bag from Louis Vuitton. I love mine. I got the world tour version with the black leather on. It's been discontinued for, I'd say around a year now. Um, so the prices of these have skyrocketed, but the new mini one is available. Now, I feel like Louis Vuitton have pochette accessoired this bag like they've been doing with a lot of their range. So adding kind of extra chains and straps to it. I do think in terms of like a crossbody bag, so you can use this with the chain as like a little shoulder bag. You can use the longer leather strap. To me, this feels less like a bum bag and more like a shoulder crossbody bag. Whereas this feels like, you know, the only way you can really use this is as a bum bag. I mean, you can wear it on the shoulder. I do wear that. You can still wear it crossbody if you want to. But this very much has the features of a true bum bag, if you will. The new one, I'm not getting that one so much. Let me know what you think in the comments. A lot of people saying that they like the new one more, but some people saying they like the old one more. For me, I'm definitely team old LV bum bag. But I might be slightly biased. The new one retails at $2,030 in the US. You can get it in the canvas version and you can also get it in some of the new limited edition colorways, such as the By the Pool collection. Bag number seven isn't a bag, it's actually a collection and I thought I would just touch on a few of the key pieces that I like from this collection. 
in this section of the video. So this is the By The Pool range from Louis Vuitton. So what you can see here, I am looking at down here, if you see me looking down. Okay, so we have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull here. This one is like a white canvas. We have the giant monogram print on and it's in like a pink watercolor. What do we think? We have quite a detailed print inside of the Neverfull, which I quite like and obviously you get the pouch as well. I like the pink colour option, $2,540 in the US. It comes in beige and also blue. It seems like blue is sold out, so I don't know if this is the most popular colourway. I think my favourite though would be the pink colourway, but if you're looking for a little summer vibe, this could be the one to go for. Then we have the Nano Noe bag. How adorable is this? The same colorway here. We have like a top handle. It's nice to see this with a top handle because it's such a cute little bag. I think it works well. And you get a longer strap which you can shoulder and cross body. Oh, just look at like the watercolors on this one. This one has sold out $2,030. Now we do have some raffia in the By The Pool collection for 2023. This bucket bag here, we have like black stitching on the raffia, we have longer strap handles. This is the Nano bucket bag, $2,220 in the US. Again, fabulous summer vibes. We have the toiletry pouch on chain in the raffia as well, $1,780 this one will cost you. This one's great, but that is quite a hefty price for a wallet on chain. I would definitely be tempted to get more of a bag bag if that makes sense. Here we have the Pochette Felice again in the kind of watercolor print with the aztec -y type print around the sides. I love that. $1,710 in the US. We then have these ombre kind of colors. We have the Neverfull and we go from like a navy to a lighter blue to a white on the print. And the actual base of the bag is a navy color. This one also comes in beige. It looks like the beige one is sold out like oranges and yellows. I guess it's kind of, it reminds me a little bit of the Sunset collection that came out last year from Louis Vuitton. And the mini bum bag, here it is in the pink with the brighter pink logo on what do we think very summery but maybe a collector's piece for sure and this bum bag retails at $2,160 in the US let's just take a quick look inside we have one big compartment we have a zipper compartment on the front of this one okay back to the raffia we have the Neverfull in raffia I know this one has been quite popular this one has like the black stitching on it I do think the black stitching looks a bit too harsh on the raffia, let me know what you think. $2,670, my favorite is the beige, which is almost like a white. So this one looks a little bit less harsh. I think this one would work better for spring, summer, a little bit less in your face. However, might get dirtier a little bit easier than the other option. Bag number eight is another one from Louis Vuitton and it is part of the By The Pool collection. This is the summer bundle bag and I like this one enough that I think, and it's a different style of bag, to have its own place in this video. It retails at $2,920 in the US, and it has this chain going around it, so you kind of cinch it in, which gives kind of casual vibe. But the best thing I think about this bag is it actually comes with a set of straps so you can shoulder it, but you also get a longer strap as well. So if you wanted to crossbody it or wear it as a longer shoulder bag, you could definitely do that. Like Louis Vuitton have really thought about everything with this one. And I can imagine that this one looks even better in real life. So I'm really excited to hopefully get my hands on one and see it. Bag number nine is a new one from Saint Laurent. This is the 4.3 Jamie bag and this is a big bag. It is made from lambskin. We do have a small YSL logo on the front, but this bag is all about the leather. It retails at £3,250 in the UK. At this time of filming, I couldn't find it on the US website. So if I have found the price, I will flash it on the screen for you down below. Now, in terms of the straps, it has a similar mechanism to the Lulu bag, for example. So you can pull it and have it as one longer strap so you can crossbody it or you could double the straps up quite easily and then wear it as a shoulder bag. It doesn't look like there is a pocket on the back and I believe it could be one large compartment inside of the bag, no doubt with like a zipper compartment as well. But I had to show you this on a different retailer's website. It gives a lot more perspective of how big this bag is. 
Now I can imagine this might work well if you have a baby as like a changing bag, if you are looking for something that's really oversized, maybe even a travel bag. That is how big this bag is. Now when I first saw it on the Saint Laurent site, I didn't think it was gonna be quite this big. I thought maybe like this, but actually it's a lot more probably like this. So again, I'm excited to see this one in real life. I think it's quite a statement piece. And a little bonus update that I'm gonna roll into bag number nine. I have also spotted the YSL Icard tote bag. So this is mine in the black leather. You can now get it in a cream suede color, like a beige suede. And um, I didn't want to give this his own kind of place in this video because I am not a huge fan. I think the leather one just looks so much nicer. The suede one is more expensive. And can you imagine the stains if you were to ever get anything on this bag? Do we love it? Do we hate it for me? It's a thumbs down. You're in for a treat because bag number 10 isn't a bag. It is a new collection and this one is from Fendi. This is the new astrology um, or zodiac, if you will, collection. Now I have done a little screen share so we can take a look at some of the pieces. So we have some swimwear here. Again, what you can see here, I'm looking at down here just so we are on the same page. We have some twillies, but specifically I want to look at some of the bags. So we have the peekaboo mini here. This is in like a cream and it has like the zodiac kind of symbols on. I quite like this. The only thing I don't like, does anyone else not like this? I don't like it when bags have like big stitches. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it makes the bag look a little bit cheaper than when the stitches are smaller and not really a feature of the bag. But I do really like this, like the peekaboo mini bag, a bag that I've probably been considering more recently. Gorgeous. We have the baguette bag. Guys, this is a fully beaded baguette bag. It retails at $6,750. I actually thought it would be more with it all being beaded. Like all the zodiac signs are beaded onto the bag. How gorgeous is that? I think they've got the colorway down here as well. Moving on to the Fendi first. One of my favorite bags from Fendi, one that I've probably come the closest to purchasing. I love this. Zodiac signs are embroidered into the fabric. That is really nice. I love, again, the colour options here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And we also have a denim version. What do we think to the denim version? We have like the dark blue. This is probably one of my favourite, I'm not massive into denim bags. This is probably one of my favourite denim bags though, if I did have to choose one. I think it's quite quirky. It's a bit different. And I love like the dark denim they put on the F. I think this works really well. And finally, bag number 11, which again, isn't a bag, it is a collection, and it is the new Chanel Matri Dior. Let's take a look at this one together. We have mini flat bags, look at this. I'm seeing a lot of bamboo in this collection. Here we have the mini flat, this is in a lambskin and wengewood green. Ooh, I like this combination, it feels quite earthy. We then have this large flat bag with top handle. This is in like a green tweed. We have pearls on here. A little bit different, isn't it? I could definitely see this working as an evening bag. It has like a double flap similar to the classic flap. We have this small hobo bag. I love this emerald green color. Like the quilted leather looks amazing. The gold oversized hardware. And it kind of folds over, so I guess as a wearer, you would see the Chanel when you look down. We have the Chanel Mini 22 bag, which has been a very popular bag for Chanel. It is now coming out in these like macrame versions. This one has like orange and black. It looks like this one has beads on it, which I think is gorgeous. We have this bow clutch bag. This one retails at just over 3,800 pounds in the UK. What a statement evening bag. I can see this one selling out just because it's quite a quirky piece. I love that the satin comes out at the sides. We have another small flat bag here with top handle, again, like a bamboo top handle. Different, I need to see this in person. Small flat bags always sell well. And I don't think this one is going to be any exception. I like that they've got the Chanel in the wood as well. That's gorgeous. We have here a Chanel backpack, but it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, like a, a bag that you would put your lunch in. Does that make sense? We've also got the DeVille in this kind of floral print. Someone has said this reminds them of like Billabong. It's that kind of surfer dude vibe. Do we like this? And it also has the pearl logo on, which just adds an element of Chanel classicness to it. Now I promised at the start of the video that I would reveal out of these new releases, which bag is my favorite that I genuinely have not got off my mind and I might have messaged my sales associate to try and get my hands on one. Can you guess which one it is? 
It is actually the Louis Vuitton Capucine wicker bag. I think in terms of a wicker bag, even versus Prada, who have been great at creating some amazing wicker bags over the years, even better than the Hermes. I think the Capucine just looks so good, like the detail, the braided leather handle, the gold logo on the front. I love my Capucine bags already. I have three of them. I've got two minis and my BB. So the wicker would be the same size as this one here, like the BB size, and I think it would be perfect for summer. I don't think it'll be easy to travel with, like I said, but oh my gosh, is it gorgeous. Now I also promised I would reveal a bonus bag, but it's not a bag, it is a collaboration, but I think there's gonna be one bag that really wins it, that a lot of you have already messaged me over on Instagram saying you have placed your pre-orders, you have chosen your color already. That might give it away. This is the new Louis Vuitton range and this is Pharrell as creative director of Louis Vuitton's first menswear range coming out. At the time of this video release, it might just be available, but we have colored, this is not canvas, this is colored leather. Okay, so we have the speedy bag in like colored leather, but it kind of looks a little bit like the canvas with the way that they've done the print. And they are bringing out some incredible colors like green, yellow, orange. And I know some of you have already said you've ordered like a few different colors on pre-order because you cannot make your mind up which one to go for. So if your dream is to have a Louis Vuitton bag that is not in the classic monogram canvas or the empreinte leather, you want something a bit bold, something colorful, this collection, could be the one for you. Let me know what you're thinking. Personally, I think it might be a little bit too colorful. I don't know, my heart is with the Wicked Capucines right now. Maybe I could be swayed. I need to see the rest of the collection. But please do let me know. Are you liking the look of some of these new releases? Is there anything that you don't like? Please do get involved in the comments down below because I absolutely love to get your thoughts on these things as well. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you. And over here, we are going luxury shopping in London. We are gonna be trying on some of the latest releases, getting up close and personal, and I'll be sharing my thoughts. Enjoy.